The big question you need to ask yourself every day is, do I own a job or do I own a business? And unfortunately, the majority of contractors out there own a job. That's right, they're a slave to their own business. But the other side of the fence is so much greener, it's so much better, and that's when you're finally fully in control of your destiny, your freedom, your time, and that's what Contractor Secrets is about. It's about taking back our time, building a business with systems, standards, values, procedures, putting yourself in the driver's seat, and that's what it's about. So I'm excited. I'm happy to have you here. Let's dive into the Contractor Secrets Podcast. Welcome to the Trade Thrive Podcast. This is your host, Tanner. Thank you guys for joining me today. And I want to talk about a very controversial topic in contracting. A lot of you guys who follow me know about this and you've heard about them. They've probably called you. If you look on your phone somewhere in your email or an ad will pop up, I'm talking about Home Advisor. Now, I get a lot of heat because I advocate for Home Advisor. I think Home Advisor is by far the best lead generation company in America today. And large part is because of how much they advertise. Now, I kind of want to dial this down to what this lead service is in general. And I don't want to get too deep into the details today about how I work the system. Um, More or less, I kind of want to just, you know, I I would say I kind of want to eliminate the limiting beliefs that you may have about this program because. During this time, you know, we're going through COVID-19. Uh, maybe, you know, you're listening to this at a time where uh, we're past that. But in it right now, the system that I've developed with Home Advisor has proven to carry my company through this. I'm literally getting leads every day from Home Advisor during this pandemic. And that says a lot because you know, during a pandemic, people are skeptical about getting their house painted, you'd think. But the leads are coming in from people that don't need to get their house painted. They want to get their house painted. It's still something they want to do. And I'm able to connect with these people. So get rid of the idea that HomeAdvisor scams you, okay? Because they don't. You know, you have full control over whether you receive leads or whether you don't. You have full control over the budget that you set for your leads. What the biggest, I would say, you know, if I had to, if I had to identify the biggest complaint that I hear from contractors is that Home Advisor sends bogus leads. Now, listen, if you've ever been in sales, which I know a majority of you have not, maybe a lot of you are contractors, you've been in the trades, you started your business. If you've ever been in sales, you know, you know that leads are just leads. They they could potentially lead to a sale. In other words, they're an opportunity. And I think the main issue is that people in the trades think that because I paid money for this, I deserve something in return. Well, if that were the case, uh, you know, everyone would be extremely rich because that would mean that anyone that sends out, you know, pays money for, uh, you know, let's say uh, direct mail marketing. And, And if everyone paid money for direct mail marketing and they would get a return on that investment for every single letter they sent out, well, then that would be like equivalent to you expecting to pay for a home advisor lead and expect to get money for every single lead that you pay for. Okay. So, you know, if we're going to bash home advisor, then we need to bash all these other avenues that we spend money on that don't convert to business. And I think the misconception is, is that, you know, because the lead is so expensive in most people's eyes, you know, some leads range from $50 to $90 that we deserve some sort of return. And the approach that I have with this is the fact that I look at what I spend with Home Advisor over the course of a month. Okay. And this is what I, whenever I coach someone, whenever I help someone, um, you know, adopt this into their business. And this goes for all lead generation companies. There's a lot of them out there specifically for painters. There's some uh, that, like I said, specifically for trades, there's big ones. You've heard of Angie's List, Thumbtack. It doesn't matter, okay? We're going to get to that in a second. But really when I get, what I want to get at is how you see how this thing works. And, you know, this is a numbers game. It's a law of averages, right? So if I spend $1,000 on Home Advisor, and this is another analogy that I use that I, I do get a lot of heat from, but it makes sense, right? So if I spend $1,000 on a Home Advisor, and let's say they give me 10 leads, so I spent... 
$100 on each lead, okay, over the course of a month. Let's say eight of those leads don't answer the phone and I can't get a hold of them. And, you know, it goes straight to voicemail, right? And I spent $800 on eight people's information and I just can't get a hold of them. Well, what about those other two? Okay, so let's say I sell a $8,000 job on the one and a $2,000 job on the other. Okay, so the total sales from those 10 leads turned out to be $10,000. Okay, now of course we have expenses that come with that. Let's say we net 40% and make four grand on the jobs that we sold. Okay, well, we spent 3000 or excuse me, we spent 1000 on the leads. We made 4000 in profit. Well, that means that once we subtract that $1,000, we net $3,000, okay? So that calls for a reinvestment. Now, look, this is an extremely outlying example. You know, if, you, if that's all you can do is sell two jobs out of 10, then you need to take my sales course. We need to help you figure out how to convert more leads, okay? But what I'm getting at is, is that if you're disciplined enough to track what your results are, you know, and those results are how much am I paying? How much am I bringing in? How much am I paying? How much am I bringing in? And if you track that, then in turn, what you do is you then justify the marketing expense. Okay. And this is with anything, guys. This is with Facebook ads. This is with Google ads. This is with all these avenues. And the problem is, is that, you know, we get so caught up on home advisor. They're scam artists. They keep calling me or, you know, I tried them out and they were billing me for all these leads. And okay, listen, the reason a lot of people are upset is because they don't know how to approach these leads. Okay. They don't have the right formula in place. And I'm going to go into that in another episode. But the first thing I want to do is help you understand marketing as a whole because marketing and advertising go hand in hand. We know this, but when you spend money to advertise, okay, there's no guarantee, right? You don't, you don't, you're not guaranteed a return. And it's the same thing with home advisor. Um, And of course, because you're not getting exclusive leads, which no one's going to do unless you generate your own leads through Facebook or Google, which in most cases, even though you may think that they're your own lead. Most people get other estimates anyway. Okay. But some, you know, we got to realize people tire out. They're only going to get, I mean, you know, I've heard of someone that got eight estimates. That's a little bit extreme, but majority of the people only want to get two or three quotes. I know that I only want two quotes. Like it's exhausting for me to get estimates for things. I just, I'm just not that type of person. You know, I do a lot of research ahead of time, try to make an educated decision. And, you know, if they show up and give me a good presentation, you know, chances are I'm going to go with them. So I do a lot of, you know, research ahead of time, but a lot of people want that two, three, four estimates at the, at the most. And so your leads aren't exclusive anyway. Okay. So what we need to understand is that now we're going to get into home advisor in a more direct way. Okay. So now we're going to talk about home advisor as a whole. Why do I advocate it so much? Um, well, because in business, it's not so much about what you want as the business owner, okay? And that's something that you should really learn uh, and adopt as, you know, uh, I would say like a principle of, uh, you know, a new approach to the way that you see things, okay? It's not about what you like, okay? And I'm going to give you a good example here because we're going through this COVID-19 thing, okay? Think about this. I don't know if you guys have, you know, wherever you are, you probably have a big grocery store chain. Here in Florida, in the southeastern states, there's a really big one. It's called Publix. Four, maybe four years ago, okay, I'd say, all right, let's go four years ago. If you were to tell me that there's a company out there that delivers groceries to someone's house, right? So you put in an order and they deliver groceries to someone's house. Okay. I would look at you like, wow, that is crazy. Who would do that? Okay. That's what I would look at you like. Right. And if that company pitched to Publix, Hey, we're going to, you know, um, deliver groceries to people's houses. And, you know, we're going to take a percentage of how much the bill is in order to offer this service. Right. Two things would happen. The first thing is, is that they'd be skeptical. Okay, but maybe the second thing is someone would say, you know what, we have to identify if this is what our customers want. And that turned into a massive, 
massive revenue stream for Publix, for chains, and you're seeing it pop up all over the place. You're going to see it on Super Bowl ads of DoorDash, delivery, uh, picking up and delivering. It's like literally a huge thing right now. And the reason why it's becoming that way, not just because of the pandemic, but it's because people want it. They like the convenience. And the company, the business, in this example, it's going to be Publix, they had to adjust with the market. They had to identify what their customers wanted. It's no longer about what they wanted. Do you think they want to give up a percentage of their sales to this company? No, they didn't until they saw, whoa, this is going to create a really big revenue stream. This could potentially help us reach people that we wouldn't have been able to reach had we have not done this. So what we look at with Home Advisor is the fact that Home Advisor, there's some major points about it. The first thing is, is that it offers super convenient estimates to people. You have to realize that people have more going on in their life than to knock on their friend's door, call their friends, ask them their opinions on the contractors that they worked with. Okay. It's just one of those things that, you know, you don't want to expect people to do. So, and as a, as a me personally, like, I don't know how, like, a lot of you are who are listening to this, but like, I feel like I want to make my own decision whenever I hire somebody. And that's something that I, I, I just, I just, you know, I feel like I have to make that decision. And if I don't know anyone that got their house painted, or I don't know anyone that got a roof put on, which a lot of people don't, you know, cause these are projects that happen for most people every seven to 10 years. Well, here's this service that says, Hey, homeowner, I'm everywhere. You know me now. You've heard my name. My name's Home Advisor. And if you're in the market for any sort of home improvement service, hey, come on over to me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you get three estimates from contractors that I've screened and approved. And if anything goes wrong, you feel comfortable because you could reach out to me and we will help facilitate the issue. Okay. So that that handles two things. Number one, what it does is it handles the fact that the customer doesn't have to reach out and find and, and get their own estimates. Okay. And what they're also saying is that they're going to guarantee them three people that have been screened and approved. Okay. Which is huge because we know that contractors really aren't trusted by the general public. That's just the way it is. If you're listening to this, you're probably fighting for that trust every day, which is great. You could separate yourself but they appreciate that because it's like this little barrier of protection. And then, you know, in turn, also, you know, piggybacking on that barrier of protection, we also have uh, the, the, I would say, the mediation of Home Advisor. Okay. So it's kind of like you're going into this, this contracting relationship with someone else that can help you if something goes wrong, right? So if there's something that goes wrong, Home Advisor will jump in. They will. I've, I've had it, you know, even, even me, I've had complaints and the customers reached out to home advisor and they, they've tried to settle our complaint. And, you know, that's something that for, I admired, you know, it was, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, kind of tedious working with them, but I admired that, you know, cause it is for the best interest of the, of the homeowner. So we talk about that in terms of, you know, convenience and protecting the homeowner. Okay. But you as a business owner, you have to realize that as a homeowner, this is great. It really is. I mean, and what you're seeing now more and more is that people are trusting this way of doing things, right? And I get back to my grocery delivery, right? After you've gotten your groceries delivered, okay, you are more likely to do it again. Trust me, because I've been doing it because of this pandemic. It's been great, you know, having the groceries delivered, okay? So if you have a positive experience with finding a professional online, through a lead service, which we see it as for them, it's like a, I don't know, like a, like a facilitation service or something that helps them. They don't see it as a lead service. They just see it as this thing that's going to help them because they don't have to pay for it. Okay. The more and more that they get comfortable with doing that, right. The more it becomes normal. So you as a business owner need to embrace that. And what you're seeing now is, and the reason why I'm doing this during this time is that I'm looking at my leads right now and I'm looking from March to today, which is April 24th, I have over 25 new leads. I think I'm at 30 new leads 
that have come in during that time, during the pandemic, when everyone's freaking out, Home Advisor is sending me people. And we've been doing estimates. I'm talking we are doing the same amount of estimates every week because of this as we did before the pandemic. And to me, that's just showing me, number one, I'm very thankful that people are valuing the painting trade. I love it. But number two, it's showing me that this is a strategic advantage. And I need to make sure that I'm continuously capitalizing on it, whether I have great avenue streams of lead generation, or if I have another avenue stream that I really like that's working, I still need to use Home Advisor for reach. I need to use it for convenience and I need to use it in times where things might be slow. I know how to work this system. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here and I'm going to really just hit on the fact that Home Advisor works when you work the system. Okay. And we're going to talk about that in another episode. The second part of this is knowing that you need to have a bird's eye view of how much you're spending and how much you're bringing in. Because what that'll do is again, it'll justify the difference It'll justify the investment, excuse me, not the difference. It'll, it'll justify the investment, okay? And the third part of this is if you're uncomfortable with paid lead resources, okay, you have to realize that this is what the market likes. And any business who wants to succeed and wants to grow has to change with the market, okay? You can't remain the same. Businesses that have remained the same over the years are no longer here. And you know, there's a, you know, has, have you seen a Radio Shack lately? I haven't. So Radio Shack used to be huge. They never, they never changed. They just stayed the same, right? Probably because like their name was Radio Shack. I don't know. So companies that change survive. And if you want to survive in business, you should be always paying attention to what the market is doing. And yes, it may cost you more money. Remember, my public story is, man, they probably didn't want to pay this company to come deliver groceries for their potential customers. But guess what? They did. And they were able to access more revenue. They were able to reach more people. And that's the way I see Home Advisor. To me, it's a great investment because I can reach more people, access more people, bring in a different revenue stream that I wouldn't already have, you know, people that I wouldn't reach without Home Advisor. I have the ability to reach them. So this is an overview of, of why paid leads are a good move, specifically Home Advisor, because you guys know I use them a lot. They're the biggest one. You know about them. We've heard about them. But this works with every pay lead service out there. In the next episode, we're going to talk a little bit about what my process looks like, how I capitalize on Home Advisor, and how you can too. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening. If you are in the painting business and you are interested in growing your painting business in a way that may be a little bit different than the traditional approach, for us, we focus on our sales process. It's a strategic sales process that helps you identify the buyer's motivation, what's most important to the homeowner. And once we have that information, we tailor the sales approach to identify what's most important, of course, but how we can be the perfect fit for their needs, guys. So that is the Painting Business Sales Academy. You can find that at tradethrive.com. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the next episode. Hey, I just want to take a second to thank you for joining me here on the Contractor Secrets Podcast. Um, I'm just going to take this opportunity to let you know that my passion is coaching people, helping people. Um, I've changed my Instagram name to at Contractor Coach, and I did that because that is my passion. I want to help you. So please reach out to me. If you have an issue going on in your business, send me an email. Find me on Instagram, message me, and let's do a breakthrough session. I want to work through your problems in your business to help you get to that next level. And and one thing that I always say is this, you know, the difference between those that get over the humps and the hurdles in business is just a change in perspective. And that's what I plan to offer you. So get with me, message me, allow me to help you take your business to the next level.